Hey, it's Vic here from Strong Sites for my first video on this new channel. I wanted to show you how I make my videos, which is using an app called Descript. I've been editing videos for about 15 years at this point and use all kinds of different apps, Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro mainly, but I've been using Descript somewhat ever since it came out and it has totally revolutionized my video workflow. And so I'm going to go a little meta here and show you how I edited the intro to this video. When Descript first came out, um, I started using it for rough cut editing. So I would import uncut interview clips, use Descript to transcribe them and trim them down to the radio edit. I would create the interview track of my videos. And then I would export that from Descript into Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro, then complete the edit from there, bring in all the B-roll and titles and everything else. But Descript has improved massively over just the few years it's been out. And just at the end of this year, they launched a total overhaul that they call Storyboard. And I'm now creating most of my videos entirely using Descript. So I'm gonna show you how I use it how it works because it's awesome okay so now i'm recording my screen editing in descript super meta the first thing you need to do of course to create a video in descript is either drop a video file in or you record one directly in descript this video here that i'm working with i recorded directly in descript using this record button you can select camera just recording your camera audio only screen with or without a camera in the corner. Right now I'm recording using the screen recorder tool, which gives you most of the functionality. It lives in your toolbar on Mac. I'm not sure what it lives on Windows, but what you have here is the whole interview. So you've got your transcript over here. You've got your video window. You've got your settings and stuff, and then you've got a timeline along the bottom. The biggest difference between Descript and other editors is this thing right here, that every bit of audio or video that you load into Descript or record in Descript is automatically transcribed. You can edit video or audio like you would edit a Word doc. And so let's get started on that. Now, the first thing I do when I'm making a video is I turn on Studio Sound, which is Descript's magical production hammer, applies a bunch of different things, noise reduction, compression, I think a limiter, some other things, and you can control how intense it applies. So it's richer, warmer, cleaner for non-audio guys like me, studio sound works all right. The one thing is you need to play with it sometimes. Bring it down to a level where all your words are actually getting in there, that the noise reduction isn't too aggressive. But in a quiet room with a clean audio source, studio sound does a great job. So I apply studio sound to the whole clip, and now I'm going to tighten it up. So as you can see here, it, it underlines filler words. Filler words, repeated phrases. There, check this out. I repeated myself. I do this sometimes. Me to make the leap. And I'm now creating most of my videos entirely using Descript. So with this little magic button, you can shorten your word gaps, remove filler words, potentially detect transcription errors. I'm going to look at the remove filler words feature and I'm gonna go through each of these and tighten them up. So now what I've done is I've removed all the filler words, all the times I said or repeated myself, and it creates a little leap in the video, a little hard cut. But as long as there's not too many of those, I don't think it's too distracting, especially for a vlog style video like this. People are used to that kind of thing now. And so that's a really useful tool because it highlights your filler words out the gate if your video has lots of long pauses in it, you can you can trigger those. You can say how much of a pause you want to catch and how much you want to shorten it. You can highlight those. The other thing you need to watch out for with the with the shortened silences is it will count a silence as something that the transcription didn't catch. All right, now I've shortened word gaps, removed filler words. Let's see if there's anything else I want to cut. And I don't always do this, but I'm going to go ahead and clean up the transcript. This is 
super useful if you're going to provide subtitles or even hard burn in your subtitles, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. I'm going to delete this section. All right, so now we've got our transcript clean up here in the top. You've got media, which these are stock videos, stock images, GIFs, and stickers. Backgrounds, a lot of which are animated, and even royalty-free music and sound effects. They've really assembled a wonderful library of options in here that you can use to fill out your videos on the fly. That's spending a whole lot of time in clip libraries. Over here, this captions thing sets it apart, really, from other editors. Because now that you have a good transcript, you can add captions. So fancy captions, if you want to use them, gives you a burned-in subtitles look. It has totally revolutionized my video workflow. You can change that. And so I'm going to go a little meta here and show you how I edited karaoke style. the intro to this video. When Descript first came out, um, I started using it for rough cut editing. So now, maybe for short social videos or that kind of thing, live so I would make sense. Import. People watch the stuff on autoplay. But for most use cases, I feel like it's overkill. I'm going to remove it. But it's a really neat feature. And save you a ton of time if you're in the business of hard coding subtitles. You've got all your other basic title text options, other stuff that, that's unique to, relatively unique to Descript. Things like these exist for Final Cut and Premiere, but they're usually aftermarket plugins or things that require a lot of. First came out, I started using it for rough cut editing. So I would import uncut interview clips. You so this is the kind of thing where if you want to build in a little progress bar that gives people a visual cue about how long the video is that they're watching. Use Descript to transcribe them and trim them down to the radio edit. Even waveforms. I remember spending hours in, in Premiere Pro I remember spending hours in Adobe After Effects with this custom template that I bought off of Creative Market or somewhere, Envato, I think, creating waveform things, creating waveform animations I would to spice up the audio of some podcasts. The interview track of my videos. And then I would export that from Descript into Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro then complete the edit from there, yeah. bring in all the B-roll and titles and... Isn't that cool? Anyway, I'm not going to put any of that fancy stuff into this video. But what I am going to do is show you their green screen option. Now, I didn't film this using a green screen, so it's not going to be perfect. But if I go here to effects, hit green screen, they do their best to trim out my background, and then I can come over here and pull in one of these fun backgrounds. And here you just have me talking. I sent it to the back there. You saw that. Hey, it's Vic here from Strong Sites for my first video on this new channel. I wanted to show you how I make my videos, which is using an app called Descript. I've been editing videos for, I'm going to do a little something in the timeline here. You notice that was a long pause. This is a nice feature. You can grab any word on Descript and drag it around to shorten a word gap. So watch this. Using an app called Descript. I've been editing videos for about 15 years at this point and Premiere Pro mainly, but I've been using Descript somewhat ever since it came out. Now, you got to be careful there because the word boundary didn't exactly match the audio boundary, and so I would have cut off the beginning of the word. Let's see how this goes. Well, and so I'm going to go a little meta here and show you how I edited. And so I'm going to go a little meta here and show you how I edited 
the intro to this video. When Descript first came out, so the neat feature about, one of the neat features of Storyboard is that you can split, you can very easily split things up into what they call scenes. You create a new scene using the slash. So I'm just gonna split this video into three scenes and just do three different backgrounds on it to break it up. See if there's a video filming. Yeah, some backgrounds. That looks like something from Premiere Pro. So I'm going to throw that into this scene. I just drag and drop it out of the scene. So now we'll throw in that video editor clip into this scene. <clears throat> we'll move it back so it's in so it's behind me. When Descript first came out, um, I started using it for rough cut editing. So I would import uncut interview clips, use Descript to transcribe them and trim them down to the radio edit. I would create the interview track of my videos. And then I would export that from Descript into Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro. Then complete the edit from there, bring in all the B-roll. I'm going to add the Chuck Norris. I don't want to add it to the whole thing. So I'll create a new little scene. And we'll add Chuck Norris to it. Where did Chuck, there he is, Chuck Norris. Let's see how that works. Works. Because it's awesome. Hey, it's Vic here from Strong Sites. Last thing I need to do is add a little title card. So I'm going to split this into a scene. I'll grab... Going to go over here to template, titles, basic lower thirds, throw it on here. Black. There we go. Got our little text thing. I like it. So then when I've got it all in shape and how I like it. Hey, so now that I've got the video as a whole ready, it's awesome. Hey, I added a little fade out at the end. And when I'm ready to publish it, I can publish it to a link, like a web link that includes the transcript or not. But I'll show you what that looks like. Or I can export it as a video file, as a timeline to the editor of my choice, like I used to do more often, as a subtitle file or a transcript. And this is really useful if you're going to be uploading it to a video service that allows you to upload a subtitles file. You can give the video service perfectly accurate subtitles files of your video. But you publish it to a Descript link. This is what it looks like. The video is still rendering right now, but it gives you just a shareable page link. It has this transcript down the side. As the video owner, you see the view count. People can download it. You can control the settings. With, with a second tier plan, you can control the branding and stuff. But I found this also really useful for screen sharing tutorials for my web design clients. If I need to create a custom tutorial for them on how to do something, I can just use the quick recorder in Descript with a couple clicks. I can clean up the audio, tighten it up, and share them a private link to a Descript video page that makes it awesome. So if you want to join me in the video creation revolution that is Descript, um, you can go to their website, but don't just type in Descript.com. Type in strongsite.co slash Descript. 
and that will take you through my referral links. So I'll get a little affiliate bonus when you sign up and you will get a whole lot of time back and make more awesome videos. Thanks for watching.